Right, let's learn how to work with strings. So strings are very important in programming and you will end up using them quite a lot. So in here we have a variable name equals to Jamila and let's have a second variable say surname equals to and then Smith right here. So Jamila Smith and what we want to do is to have a second variable, so full. So we're going to name this as full and then underscore name equals to and we're going to name this and what we want to do is take both name and surname and then store them inside of full name. So for this we can use the plus sign. So name and then plus and then surname. And in fact, this should be first name. So first underscore and then name and then here first underscore and then name. So this refers to this variable, surname refers to surname. So now let's print to the console and then within parentheses we want to say full and then name. So if I run this program, you can see that we have Jamila and then Smith. Now we actually need to have a space here, so let's do it. So let's close this and in here we're going to say plus and then add single quotes, space and then plus and then space and then surname. So if I run it, you can see that we have Jamila and then space and then Smith. So if I close this, now let me show you that with strings we can do many things with it. So let's say that you want to find out the number of characters that first name has. So type print, so we want to print to the console the number of characters that this first name so Jamila has. So type L-E-N for Len and then in here add parentheses and then inside pass first and then name. We can also print and then parentheses and then Len parentheses and then surname. So if I save this and then run and you can see that Jamila has six characters and Smith has five characters, right? So if I close this again, one other thing that I want to show you is with strings, let's say that in here, so Jamila, right? So Jamila has lowercase j. So if I save this and then run it, you can see that we have Jamila lowercase and then Smith uppercase, right? But we want to have an uppercase in here. So J uppercase. The way we do it is in here. So with this variable right here, we can say dot. And now we have a list of methods that we can use with strings. And again, I'm going to cover methods later on. But here you can see that, for example, we have a bunch of methods. So is lower, is numeric, is upper, join, lower, split, title, so on and so forth. So let's use this method here called capitalize and then end this word with a set of parentheses, just like that. If I save this, and then run, you can see that now Jamila has a capital J. So just to give you one more example, so let's say print in here and let's say full and then name dot and we have a list of methods here. So let's uh, say that ends with. So we want to check whether this ends with and then this string right here. So let's say that ends with hello. 
So run this and you can see that we have false, right? So if I close, so Jamila Smith, so the full name doesn't end, doesn't end with hello. It ends with Smith. And you can see that we have true. So we haven't covered this value right here. So true or false, but don't worry. I'm going to explain exactly what these mean in a second. This is how you work with strings. Obviously, there are a lot more that you can do with strings, but this is just a quick introduction on how to work with strings with Python.